Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be testing out a new trend, mermaid core. Guys, I am so excited. I love mermaids. I've watched all the movies, the shows. Let me know down below what was your favorite mermaid show or movie. My personal favorite has to be aquamarine. Every single time aquamarine switches the sweatshirt into a dress, I'm shocked. Every single time. Even though I've been watching that movie for how many years? I love it. Seriously. If you haven't seen that movie, you gotta check it out. I've been filming this video for quite some time, so I think I'm gonna watch it after this because I deserve it. Anywho, that's one of my favorite mermaid movies. So going back to Mermaid Court, the first time I heard about it was probably the beginning of this year. And when I saw all the photos on Pinterest, I even created my own board for the hair, the makeup, the outfits. I'll show you guys all of that. I was like, wow, I have a lot of these pieces because I'm already someone who dresses pretty feminine. I love crochet, I love lace, I love satin, I love sheer sequences, pearls, shells. I love to accessorize like that. So I was like, this is totally me. Out of all the trends that we've seen like the last three years, all of the core trends, I'm a mix between cottage core, coastal grandmother, and mermaid court. Those three are basically me in a bottle. I thought I'd share with you guys how I interpret this trend as far as making it approachable and wearable. All these pieces I find to be wearable. Hopefully you do as well. And if you wanna know how I did my makeup, my hair, what I'm wearing today, make sure to continue watching. I'm so pumped guys, you don't even know. I'm going to use this sunscreen as my primer as well. I've been testing out a few different sunscreens. I think it's called Tokobo. I'm not too sure. It's a biohyaluronic acid water sun cream, SPF 50 plus. It just feels really nice. And I feel like a mermaid needs to wear her sunscreen. This kind of reminds me of the Summer Friday one. Just a little bit thicker, but how it feels very lightweight and water-like. And it doesn't smell like your traditional sunscreen. I'm trying to be really delicate with my fingers since I just painted them maybe 30-ish minutes ago and they still need to dry. They're not fully dry yet. But I want to change my nails, make it all mermaid-y. I have this nail polish from Sally Hansen in Let's Get Digital. I think it's the perfect mermaid core nail polish. It has this iridescence, it's very light. It just has that beautiful shimmer and it looks like when the sun hits the water, you know how it glistens? It looks like this on a bottle. For my makeup, I want it to be glowy, so we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. Ever since I got this, I pretty much use it most days. I love wearing it on its own, but also under foundation. Everything that I'm doing today, whether it's the makeup, the hair, the fashion, it's all wearable because I don't want this to be too costumey. That's the thing with mermaid core. It kind of feels costumey. I want to wear all these pieces when it gets warmer out. And a majority of these pieces were already in my closet. I only ended up buying a few things and I'm so excited to show you guys. Just to add a little more coverage, I'm going to go in with the Surratt Dewdrop Foundation. I have two shades, five and six. Six is a little too dark, but five has that warmth and that yellowness that I'm looking for. So I end up mixing both of these two. This packaging is so interesting because you twist the top and then the bottom you press. So it's like squishy. So interesting. Add number six. Just mix those two shades together. I love wearing this on its own. It's so thin and lightweight. It kind of reminds me of Summer Friday's their, what is it called? It's it's not a tinted moisturizer, but like the product that has tinted it, I don't know why I can't think of it, but it's similar to that as far as how it feels, but it just has more coverage. And I also like the finish of this. It's one of the few foundations where I'm like, oh, I could wear this on its own. It's going to be okay. Cause most times I feel like I have to powder everything, but this one, you don't necessarily have to. Before we move forward, I want to add eyeshadow primer since we are dealing with sequences and a lot of shimmery products. And I want to make sure they stay put. So I'm going to add that. This is my favorite one from Elta Beauty. Let's do the eyes next because I know this product has a little bit of fallout. I tested this look yesterday and it looks so beautiful. But I gotta talk about these products. I got them on Amazon. The brand is called Charmacy. It's called the Glossy Shadow and it's these multi-chrome eyeshadows. They're so gorgeous. I had to get a few. I didn't know which one I was going to use for this video. You guys can see what I mean. Look at this one, it's blinding. This one is in 804. This is more pinky purpley. This one is 806. And the last one I have, which is more blue, but then at the same time, it looks purple, but then also pink. This one is 807, and this is the one I'll be wearing today. I'm gonna start with using my fingers. This is very soft. And then I'm gonna go in with a wet brush. You see that? So beautiful, 
but wearable, you know? And again, this eye look is wearable. It's not gonna be too out there. Although I do love the looks that I've seen online. I've been watching a ton of videos to get inspired and just get me in the mood for today's video. What I'm doing today is more wearable. And then whatever's on my fingers, I'm just kind of pulling it out. Isn't this eyeshadow so stunning? I've never seen anything like this before and it's pretty affordable. Now I'm gonna intensify it even more with a wet brush. I'm just going to pat it on. I can't stop staring at my eyes. They look so beautiful. Curling the lashes. Then we're gonna move on to... Originally, I was going to use this from e.l.f. I love this product. I'm surprised it's not one of their best sellers, but this is in Mermaid Shimmy. So beautiful. If I wasn't using this eyeshadow, I would have definitely used this. And I feel like the name is so appropriate for this video. Anywho, let's tightline. This one is from Remmel London. I really just wanted a kind of like a green or a teal pencil or teal liner so i found this one just because whenever i do a wing and i use a pen liner i always like to tight line for my liner i'm going in with the new urban decay 24 7 inks look at this one the packaging stunning it's also very comfortable and easy to create a beautiful wing i end up getting the color high energy they also have a teal one but that one looks quite dark and almost black where this one is more blue and i believe both of them have shimmer so we're just gonna do a small wing nothing too dramatic that was so easy usually i have to use both my hands to create a wing but i could do it just with one and now we can add the concealer just to clean up the eye look going in with the l'oreal radiant concealer just gonna blend out the eyeshadow i have a little bit of hyperpigmentation and redness peeking through so i'm just gonna go in with the merit stick that one is the biggest one for me since I was touching it last night. Just can't help it sometimes, you know? So when I was getting all of my pieces together, I realized I have a lot of mermaid core clothing. I love teal, I love turquoise, I love like light like blues, creams, ruffles, uh, lace. Crochet is a big one. I have all of it, so I really didn't buy much, but I did thrift a couple pieces that I'm excited to share with you guys because you guys should definitely check out your local thrift store or even Depop. That's where I ended up going. I've been on this Depop kick where I've been getting quite a few things. So much fun to discover pieces on there because i feel like it's just like treasure and i think within the last like two months i've gotten four or five pieces from depop i feel like with mermaid core bronzing up the skin is a must this one is from elf this is the luminous petty bronzer i don't think i would do any kind of contouring today maybe just a tiny bit on the nose I'm just really focusing on the bronzing and just a little bit of contouring on the nose and the product that i'm using is from ali oop stack the odds I'm setting the makeup with ColourPop loose setting powder and translucent the brows going in with the physician's formula butter uh, brow gel ever since i did that physician's formula butter collection review video for you guys i've been using this it works so well i still think it's a patrick ta dupe i need to get that one again so i can do a comparison video i keep staring at my hair i think my nails are dry so i can touch my hair it's just so poofy this is what happens when i let my hair dry naturally with no product it's just a poof ball it's gonna work with the hairstyle today but it just looks so intense right now and i put it behind me and it still looks huge now let's wipe off the excess powder for blush i didn't want to go with something too bright so this is a more muted peach from la mercier this is their blush color infusion in ginger i've been trying to find some blushes for my wedding since i'm doing my makeup and i feel like i might be wearing something like this this is a matte blush so pretty i think it just complements my skin tone very well see what i mean just healthy glowy looking cheeks even though this is matte i think with the products that i applied under it it still has that beautiful glow for brow pencil i'm testing out the alicia one this is so thin let me find the pencil part look how tiny this is it's a really good shade match this one is in taupe gray this might be my new favorite brow pencil you just can't twist it too high since it's so delicate but what i was saying is i'm going to be doing a full line review of alicia so i've been slowly buying all of their products brows look great but not too strong for mascara i'm going to do some layering i love both of these mascaras the first one is my go-to mascara that i love to just wear on its own but also layer it with a bunch of different mascaras this one is by Cleo Kill Lash. This is the long curling mascara. Honestly, one of my top mascaras that I've ever used. I've had it for now maybe four months. 
and it's my go-to mascara. And since I'm not using any fake lashes today, I really want my lashes to be curled and very fluttery. I think if you have like a bluish mascara, I think that would look so pretty. Just like a very slight tint, you know? And then on top of it, I'm gonna add the L'Oreal Telescopic. This one gives you more volume, while the other one gives me curl and separation. See that difference? It's pretty impressive, especially someone like me who has very short straight lashes. This looks really good. The reason why I did my mascara next, even though I'm still not done with my eyes, is because it tends to I get a little bit of marks on my eyelid. So I'm just going to go in with my eyeshadow brush. Just tap it in just to fix it. Just like that. This product from Alicia is just going to add that extra twinkle and kind of make your eyes have that um, that scaly look to it because of the glitter pieces. Let me just show you guys. It's so pretty. And even though it looks thick in here, it dries down pretty quickly. I'm going to apply a little bit. I like to go on my hand so then I can apply the perfect amount to my eyes. And then I'm kind of just putting it all over. But do you see what I mean? Those little glitter specks. This really intensifies the eye look. I'm just patting. I don't want it to look too heavy. I want it to look more scattered. I'm obsessed with this eye look, guys. I never wear blue or teal, and it just looks so pretty and fun. I'm being a little extra with this eye look just because I want to, and I really want to play with some of the colors in the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. This one is the Bronze Seduction. I really want to go in with this shade right here, and I'm going to put this in the inner corner just for an extra twinkle finally done with the eyes let's add a little bit of highlighter this one is from physicians formula from their butter collection it's a liquid highlighter you need so little but it looks so pretty over powder just gives you that beautiful glow but it's also not super intense right highlighter is done for lips i want to keep it pretty simple so just going in with my favorite lip liner from m cosmetics this is in fawn the same shade as my lips and i just want my lips to be glossy and I really want my eyes to be the center of attention. For gloss, going in with the Patrick Ta Major Plumping Gloss in Full Syringe. Let's finish the makeup off with the setting spray from Milk Makeup, the Hydro one. And this is the makeup look so pretty but still wearable and that's the important part for me at least. Let's move on to hair. For the hair, you can do a couple different things. You can do a total like wet look, which is really beautiful. Or you can go in and do something more voluminous and wavy. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to be using the waver from insert name here. And then again, working with my natural hair texture since it is quite poofy and naturally wavy. We're working with a lot. I thought originally for this video that I would have to dry my hair and it would have been more straight, but it's almost dry. I'm going to add a little bit of leave-in conditioner. This one is from Curl Smith. I love using the waver in the warmer months because it's a very similar pattern to my natural hair. And when you're out and it's humid, it kind of just works with it. I don't get frustrated with this curler because it's so easy and you only want to do your sections probably less than five seconds. I'm gonna add a little bit of volume to my roots. This is from Color Wow Raise the Root. I recently got this and it works so well. So you just spray a little bit. You can do it in dry hair or damp hair. And then I just massage it in. And at first you're kind of like, is this going to work? Because it's wet feeling, but then after you do this, you're kind of like, whoa. Oh, I do want to fix my part. I'm going to do a center part, but I just want to fix my center part. It's so hard doing a center part with the widow's peak. Okay, that's pretty good. Anywho, raise the root is a must, especially if you have flat hair. Now going in with heat protecting spray. This one is from Verb. Since I have a lot of hair, I'm going to section it off, doing one half, and then putting that half side up. I find it easier to work from the back and then moving towards the front. And I'm going to be using smaller sections. If you want to define wave, you're going to leave it in your hair a bit longer. I'm not going to leave it in that long. And if you don't want it to look so perfect, what you want to do, it's been trial error with me with this waiver, is that you want to curl your hair in different directions. So see how I'm pulling my hair this way 
or that way or kind of going on an angle that's good it doesn't have to be perfect all right moving to the front section the pieces that frame your face are the most important and i say that because if you don't want heavy ridges on your hair and have a very defined look then you really don't want to keep this in your hair for very long. This should be a couple seconds and that's it. And I'm specifically talking about that first piece right here. That initial clamp you don't want in your hair for that long. But everything else you can hold a little bit longer like the rest of your hair. So for my bangs, as you can see, they're already curling because that's my natural hair texture. I could leave it as is or, which this is what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put it in and then take it out. Not for very long, just like that. And as you can see, look, I don't have the bumps. It doesn't start until right above the ear. The hair looks so good. I'm just gonna add two more products. We have the Wave Spray from Day, just to add a little more texture so it's not so uniform. And just use a scrunching technique. If you're going for more of that sleek, wet look, I would skip using this. And I would actually go in with more of a pomade or even something like this, a hair wax. This to me gives more of that lived in look and just doesn't look so perfect. And to finish off, I'm just gonna add some oil from Bread. And this is how the hair looks. So beautiful, voluminous. I love it so much. Now let's move on to the outfits. I'm so excited to talk about the outfits. I'm only going to show you maybe three. If you want to see the rest of the looks, definitely check out my Instagram because I'm going to do even more. And I think it'll be fun to do maybe a swim edition. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below. As far as looking for pieces, whether you go in store, out of thrift store, or even in your own closet, as far as like color scheme, you're seeing a lot of creams, whites, peach, light pink teal, turquoise, light blue, sequins, glitter, crochet, lace, satin, just to give that water effect. I'm so pumped to show you guys my outfits. I mentioned ruffles, so it gives that feeling of like waves or even like a fishtail. So let's start off with my first outfit. I think I'm going to keep it a bit simple and then we're gonna work our way up. So this top I got from a Depop shop. I'm gonna have everything linked down below and also link maybe some similar things of what I can find online. But this beautiful lace corset top. And then with that, I'm gonna wear a slip skirt. Again, this satin, it just looks like water. I'm just gonna pair these two together. We'll see how I accessorize this after I put this on. This is what we have so far. The top is a little bit big in the chest area. I still need to get it fixed. So I'm gonna bring it to a tailor just to fix that, just so you guys know. I think I wanna layer something else over it, maybe like a knit. Again, I want this to be wearable and not costumey, right? Just like. I think this is really cute or we could do let's see I have this sheer I don't even know what to call it but I like to wear it as a cover-up so pretty about this second hand and I even just like tie it up like this wait a minute I think I like this more for shoes I'm gonna go in with these these are so comfortable they're from Dulce Vita usually these types of shoes where it has um like that texture, do you tend to have to wear them in in order for them to be comfortable? But these are just immediately comfortable and it has a bit of cushion. And then for earrings, I'm gonna go in with these pearl earrings that I got on Amazon with the little fish tail. How cute! And then to finish the look, I have this pearl necklace. My fiance got it for me years ago, and then I ended up getting it shortened because I love when necklaces, especially sphere necklaces, hit right there like this spot it's just so beautiful what do you guys think still wearable really pretty and feminine i love this and i'm so excited to wear this out let's move on to the second look this one is more vacation vibes and going into the crochet so i found the set surprisingly on Amazon. I don't typically buy clothing on Amazon, but this looked really promising. Like I love this top and this asymmetrical hem. And then it comes with a matching skirt. This is a really cute set. I just ended up wearing some white high-waisted bikini bottom. I want to try this. I never got into these body chains, but I think around my waist just to add a little bit of color. Pretty, very simple. And then for necklace, I'm going to wear this beautiful shell necklace. For shoes, since it's more of a beach outfit, I just wanna wear some sandals. This has a little bit of pink and blue and some flowers. I love these. I've only had them for maybe two weeks 
and I live in these sandals. So I'll put those on. Usually I wouldn't go for a sandal like this because it makes my feet look wider, but they're just so comfortable. But it's so cute, you know? So this is my second look. This outfit is definitely more subdued, not so in your face mermaid core, but I really like it, you know? Because anyone could wear this. It doesn't feel like you're following necessarily a trend. For the third outfit, this dress screams mermaid core. Look at the sequences, the different sizes, the color. It's just like a cute mini dress and I ended up renting this through Newly. This dress is so much fun. It's giving me all the mermaid vibes. For shoes, I'm gonna wear these. I think they're perfect. Just dress it up. I really want the focus to be on the dress, so keeping the accessories very minimal. I'm gonna add these hair accessories. Look, just these pretty shells. So I'm going to do like a deep side part. Just put them in like that, perfect. For my final look, I gotta do one more, guys. I have to show this piece off. I ended up getting it on Depop. Look how stunning this lace dress is. So gorgeous with the ribbon in the front, the ruffles, like this is the perfect mermaid core dress when i saw it and this was around the time where i was considering doing a mermaid core video i was like that is exactly what i need this one's gorgeous by far my favorite now as you can see i ended up putting some shorts on i actually got these on depop as well i was just trying to find something that was like satin or chiffon either like shorts or skirts so if you have something like lace that's more lingerie but you want to wear it out and about but you want to be more covered find something like this and also these shorts have ruffles again perfect and for the most part you can't even see the shorts like you can in the back i just want something that will camouflage with the dress but it wouldn't look like an eyesore the same shoes they match perfectly oh i think we're gonna do one accessory it's a hair accessory now i know headpieces aren't really popular anymore but when i saw this i was like this is gorgeous now you could wear this either in the front or the back i think i'm gonna wear it in the front we'll see how it looks this is the finished look by far my favorite i had to end it with a showstopper another tip before i forget if you want to wear lingerie out and about you're worried that you're showing too much skin what you can do for this time i just wore my sticky bra under this so you actually can't see anything even though it kind of looks like you can because it is pretty close to my skin color another option you can do which is what i'm planning to do with this dress is you buy bra padding either the color of your skin or the color of the actual clothing piece and then you sew it onto it and then you're good to go and you don't feel as exposed i think that's a great way to wear your lingerie out and about i really hope you guys enjoyed this video it is so much fun making fashion content i know it doesn't do as well on my channel Channel, but someone with a fashion degree i love doing this and exploring different trends and mermaid core was definitely up there that i wanted to try out and i've been playing this video for a couple months so if you enjoyed it make sure to like it subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content now i have tried other trends if you guys want to see that i will have that in my end card i've been filming this video for hours i can't wait to take a break and eat i might end up watching aquamarine because i deserve it anyway i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you in another one bye